tight community, in a city where the homes actually share a driveway. We're gonna build a retaining wall between these areas, give them access to their backyard. Problem with working in tight communities like this is the trades are coming and going. You can see the irrigation lines are run, plumbing, electric run. The pool is actually already installed next door, which means all this has already been excavated and it's been excavated too deep. And when you find that you've dug too deep, the best thing to do is to stop. To deal with that in a very deep frost line climate with lots of freeze thaw, we're gonna amend that subgrade. Why? Because we have a clay soil subgrade. You can see that soil and its pliability, adding just a little bit of water to it. You can see how greasy and sticky it becomes. Because of that clay subgrade, we amend it with clean stone. We integrate that clean stone into the clay that increases its bearing ability. Once we're done with that, we're gonna build a sub base of three quarter inch clean angular material. Once we get that in, we're gonna stabilize it with an intermittent layer of Gator Grid 4040. This material here laid on that base, thank you. Pull it out. GeoGrid isn't just for stabilizing stone behind retaining walls, it can stabilize, in this case, your sub-base or base. So properly tensioned, this geogrid with three inches of clean stone on top of it will make this base strong enough to withstand the freeze thaw and the frost. Once we're done with that, we're gonna put in a non-woven geotextile, the Gator Fabric 4.4. The reason we're gonna do that, we're switching to a densely graded stone base. Why? Because we have to plumb that water out to the environment. There's nowhere to get the water to run behind the wall, so we gotta get it out. So we're gonna build that up with densely graded stone. All our elevations are set. Top of cap, top of wall, bottom of first course of block, we're ready for G-Force. compactor typically seen on a hardscape project. It's centrifugal force rating? Well, nobody knows. After five passes across this base, four inch thick, the level of compaction? Almost none. Get that out of here. It's just giving me the appearance of compaction. Once that piece of equipment's off this site, we're gonna bring in a good heavy compactor. That's gonna give me 98% standard proctor density.